Now, Web 2.0, since I have to say Web 2.0, right, otherwise I won't get out alive, um, I agree with Tim. It's a set of concepts. It's not a technology. It's social, political, behavioral. It's very interesting. I think that um, um, uh, Tim O'Reilly is right. There is a phenomenon. To call it Web 2.0 is not so good. I think I prefer Web Renaissance better and maybe some other terms. Uh, but it's definitely something for psychiatrists and sociologists, not for techies. So techies, please stay out of it. Um, it's also something for mystics and medicine men and other types of clerics. Uh, and I personally, I don't believe that I personally care much about it. It is something which was bound to come. It was something that we tried to make uh, from the very beginning, uh, but I can't get terribly excited about it. Uh, I think I have in my talk more than once said, uh, we, did this, we thought of this in the beginning. Uh, so it's now, a, for me, it's a so what? We've been waiting for this for 10 years. Some things that uh, worry me, however, uh, are things like net neutrality. Um, this is where contents and net services are being mixed, and I think, uh, I believe in Montesquieu. Uh, France Telecom tried this to do, tried to do this. Uh, are you aware of that? Probably not. Um, when France Telecom set up the Wanadu service, uh, you could only see the websites that they allowed you to see. Those websites had to pay France Telecom to be visible. And, of course, that was exactly the mixing of content and servers. They decided they made their money out of this. They did not deliver a web service to you. They delivered the content to you as well. And so with Montesquieu, who thought about this more than 200 years ago, I would say separate those powers. Never let the ISPs do content and never let the content guys provide you with a bandwidth network service. That would be wrong. I believe the average person can absolutely no longer understand what is known, and that has to do with all the, the uh, much more intricate knowledge. What you have to go through in school today is far more than what I had to go to, uh, through in school. And uh, let, me, let me illustrate this with a, a little song that I recently discovered, and it was not on YouTube. Um, and that, that illustrates it, but I have to, I have to be very uh, careful now. Um, I hope you're all speaking French enough. Okay, so I'm going to start this. Putain! Plus j'avance, plus je grandis, plus je comprends rien. Les sites de poules, c'est comme la vraie vie, t'attrapes des virus. Quand t'étais petit, il n'y avait pas d'internet, on traînait dans les abribus. Fallait attendre. Okay, I'll stop this. Uh, you, it, it goes on for three minutes. And I think, I think the, the analysis of uh, Orel San is, is really spot on. He describes why there is this alienation, why there is this depression, and why things go wrong. And it's because people are totally disoriented in something that is not just too much, but it's also pure magic. And pure magic means I can't understand that. That's the difference between uh, knowledge and, and magic. Magic you can't understand. So this is a, a, a symptom, and Web 2.0 is not going to help it. Okay, uh, however, what is going to help it, uh, whether you like it or not, is artificial intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence has been very, very long in the coming but there are a number of phenomena that are under the waves, under the water. They take a long time in coming, and then suddenly they pop their head up, and you're dead. Um, so already in 1840, where the first computer was steam-driven mechanical and couldn't even be built, Ada Lovelace, who helped uh, Babbage and probably was cleverer than he was, uh, already said that such a machine could be used for everything. And she didn't say artificial intelligence, but you can read that between the lines. 
And then one day uh, we, we've heard from you that the web has its own life and you can't make it go where it uh, goes. It goes where it wants to go. Uh, there is also this semantic web that is so dear to Tim. Uh, and I once asked him a few years ago, is it semantic web? But isn't that going to be even more dangerous than the web that is now in, in destroying the fabric of society? And he said, yeah, yeah, you're right. I said, but then why are we doing it? He said, oh, but I'm an optimist. I, I think people can deal with it. <laughs>